So let's get to the news. And we're gonna start today with a story about a motivational mom. Pranav Sapra and his mother Poonam have a viral Instagram account where Pranav shares his mom's pearls of wisdom with the world. And here's a window into some of those insights. Some days you have to paint your own, uh, your own rainbows and silver linings. Um, even marathons are run one step at a time. Um, I like this one very much. Normalize parents acting like kids sometimes. So Pranav, thank you for sharing your mom with us and let's follow her in every way that we can. <laughs> and tonight uh, is the full harvest moon and um, that's gotta mean something astrologically significant. And um, I would love to find out about it in our wonderful astrology report. Here to help us is ex astrologer extraordinaire and a friend of this show, Aliza Kelly. Hi, Aliza. Hi, Drew. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back. I love hanging out with you. And, you know, I grew up in, um, when I was like in the 90s in particular, in the 80s and 90s, astrology was so ubiquitous. It was everywhere. And it sort of feels like it kind of went, like it dipped down a little bit in like the late 90s and the aughts and the 2010s, whatever those are called. And I am telling you, there is no sort of hotter subject right now. And the interest and the connection to it is so alive and well. And so I love when you're here because I think there's, I think people are looking for connection right now and meaning. So will you share with us what's going on this month? Well, yes, I am happy to share what's going on this, with this month because there is so much going on this month. So I think that one of the important things to remember with astrology is that it affects everybody differently. And everybody is going to have sort of a different experience with these planets, but something that everyone is going to know is Mercury retrograde. So Mercury retrograde starts October 13th. So we should all expect for things to be a little bit more slow. We're gonna have to sort of reel it in a little bit because it's going to be a little, we're gonna have more miscommunications, it's gonna be a little messy, but that's okay because that's just part of the organic process of the sky. Can I recommend a favorite app of mine? It's called, and it's just as simple and straightforward, I've never heard an app titled this way, is mercuryandretrograde.com. <laughs> I, I guess it's an app and a website, but when you go on it, it will say yes or no, and that's it. And uh, I really love it. I highly recommend it. <laughs> all right, let's get into all this moon business. Tonight is the full harvest moon. And uh, what does that mean for us earthlings? So during a full moon, we have maximum exposure from the moon, right? We have full visibility. So we can see everything clearly, the good, the bad, the ugly. But what's really, really interesting about October is that we actually have two full moons this month. Usually we just have one, but we have another full moon on October 31st, which is Halloween. So it's extra spooky. <laughs> it, first of all, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Second of all, does it, is it a blue moon when there are two moons in a month? Yes. Because everybody says once in a blue moon, which sounds like very, very occasionally. But it, the meaning of a blue moon is two in one month. You, two are, full moons. you are an astrologer. You are an astrologer already. I'm telling you, I spent the entire 90s with like my nose and every <laughs> astrology book and numerology. And I think there's so much celestial, scientific, spiritual truth. And if you love astrology, you love astronomy. And it's, there's math. I mean, there's so much to all of this. And um, thank you, Aliza, so much you, for the thrilling and thrilling news that you've given us today. We love you so much. We love you. I love you. Happy full moon. Happy full moon, <laughs> and happy October 1st.